now we're up here we're gonna show you how we did the the bolt ends for the upright here for the end walls so this is the gorilla tape that we're using it's some good stuff we'll basically cut that off this is basically just to hold hold it in place while we while the concrete set up the concrete's all set up now so we'll, we'll go ahead and take this stuff off here you'll see the reason why we use it is because it's very sticky and it works really well. I mean, I gotta use two hands. Alright, got the tape off. So, what we're gonna do is gonna get a hole saw. I just measured the diameter of our washers, made sure we had a hole saw big enough. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line it up where it's right smack in the middle of that pole and then drill a hole and I'll show you how to get this plug out. Alright, so we got it drilled. That's right in the middle of it. So, Let's take a flathead screwdriver, stick it down in there, kind of wiggle it, and then give it a pop. There it goes, just kind of work your way around it, and it'll just kind of come out until you get the depth that you want. You don't want the bolt head sticking out, so do this, and then we'll drill a hole through the through this middle hole right here. It's basically our guide, so we'll stick it the grip it through there, come out the other side of the pipe, and then we'll bolt it together. Alright, once we get the hole drilled, then we'll put a washer on it. This is a five and a half inch bolt. The plans call for all thread. It seems like these bolts are a lot easier to use because it's got the head on it. All thread, you gotta put two nuts together. And you gotta countersink this a lot more, so we figured we do it like this and it'd be a little better, so to pop this guy in and we'll put some uh, Loctite on that nut on the back side tighten it up real good and it'll be good to go